What's up everyone? John Renger from Techno Buffalo here. The HTC First is just freshly unboxed, but the highlight isn't the phone itself, it's the software that's running Facebook's home software. So I want to give you guys an overview of Facebook Home. It can help decide whether or not you want to order, pre-order this phone, whether or not you want to wait to see what Facebook does over the coming months. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you'll notice about Facebook Home is that the lock screen is also your home screen. So I have not used this long enough to give a full review of Facebook Home, but I do want to give you an overview about how it works, what it does, and what it doesn't do, so you can help decide whether or not you want to pre-order or order the HTC first. So this is what you're going to see when you unlock your phone, assuming you don't have a password here. A uh, password I'll cover uh, in the full review. So this is your lock screen and your home screen. You can scroll through and see all the updates your friends have done. If you want to like something, you can you can double tap it, you get that cool little noise. You can always like it down there if you want to see comments on it. You can hit the comments down there, and of course, you can leave a comment uh, there as well. If you go back, you can also select uh, the person or company that put that up, and it's going to open the actual Facebook app, and you can view it that way just like you would if you were uh, on regular Facebook on any other phone. Um, all right, so you've got your little icon right down there, and if you hold that down, you get a few options here. So to the right is gonna be the app you just used last. Up is gonna to go to your apps, and left is gonna go right to Messenger. Let's go to apps real quickly. And there are a few ways to view apps. Uh, first, you've got this quick view uh, apps. This is the quickest way to access your phone if you wanna make a phone call, some settings, or things you might use very quickly. I do find it odd though that if you wanna access the camera, this is the quickest way to get to the camera. Uh, you don't have any sort of shortcut uh, to get there right from that initial home and lock screen. You know, for a phone that's very Facebook-centric, you'd figure uh, photos would be really important. But there you can update your status, you can update a picture uh, or you can check into something if you would like to. If you want to see the rest of your applications, you can scroll on over to the left. Then you get sort of a typical Android view of all your stuff, including Google search. Uh, interestingly, though, if you scroll down to the bottom, you see a settings called more. If you click that, you're going to be taken to naked, naked Android. And this is just Android in its naked 4.1 form. You do whatever you want. If you want to go back to Facebook Home, you just go ahead and hit Home, and there you are. Uh, if you want to tweak the home settings, there's an icon for that. You can go to Home Settings. You can turn Facebook Home on or off. Uh, show the status bar. If you turn that off, if you pull this down, um, it's not going to come all the way down. I think I'll show you that in a moment. Uh, you can set home when screen turns on and a few other settings here. So I turned off the pull down. I'll go ahead and go back. If you pull this down, you just get a brief notification. Then you can pull it down again uh, and get everything there. Uh, you can also access that Facebook home and quick settings by hitting the uh, home button there, or at least the menu button. Uh, and you can get the home settings right there if you want to log in and see something. Uh, let's go back and talk about apps. Uh, this is an AT&T phone. It's AT&T branded, but there really aren't many AT&T specific apps on here. Uh, you've got my AT&T and you've got a visual voicemail client. And that is really it. So no bloatware uh, really to be found on this. So if you don't want to use uh, Facebook Home, you can pretty much have stock Android um, with some cool features. So the cool feature I'm talking about is chat heads. It's a cool way to view your Facebook messages or SMS. It's integrated completely uh, with the HTC first. And there's one from Roy Choice. It says knock knock. You can move it anywhere you want while you're either on the home screen or an application. So let me open an application and show you what it looks like. So if you're in Chrome, for example, you can move that and you can see exactly what's going on. If you want to see what Roy is saying, you can tap it. So knock, knock, who's there? Cargo, cargo, who? Cargo, beep, beep. And there's a picture of Ralph that he sent me doing Ralph-like things. Uh, and that'll stay there really doing whatever you want it to do. And if you, again, you don't want Facebook home, you could turn Facebook home off, but you can still keep chat heads, which is kind of cool. And if you want to get rid of chat heads, you can select it and drag it right down to the X. Uh, one of the operating systems from days past I really liked uh, was Palm's WebOS. The handle notification is very cool. You got a little bar uh, that showed up at the bottom. You could swipe it off the screen if you wanted to. Uh, notifications here for Facebook Home are handled very much the same way. Uh, they're going to pop right up on the middle of the screen. You can read it, you can tap into it, uh, or you can throw it right off the screen. Uh, it's very cool. Uh, to see they did a very nice job with it. Um, so there are a lot of things that I wish this had, and Facebook has said that they're gonna issue updates uh, on a monthly basis. So hopefully we'll get 
uh, some of those moving forward. I would like to have a way to quickly access my phone, for example. A quick way to access camera uh, would be very cool uh, to see. Uh, Facebook, though, the engineers done an incredible job tweaking this code to make it really fast. This is super duper fast. Uh, you can scroll through absolutely everything. Uh, so how useful it is, that's really going to depend uh, on you. I think it's kind of cool right now, but again, we just got the phone in, so it still has that novelty effect um, seeing how things work. Um, having it as being your lock screen, your home screen, it's a bit weird. Uh, if you have a password on here uh, and you go ahead and unlock your phone, you have different options. But if you unlock it, uh, you can still view your apps. But if you want to actually access an application, uh, then it's going to ask for your password. So be very wary of that if you rely uh, heavily uh, on passwords. Um, but if you're considering a device like the Nexus 4, for example, because you want native Android, uh, but you want LTE as well, it's kind of a cool option because you can flip this on and off depending on uh, what you want to do. Uh, so overall, I mean, it seems to be pretty enjoyable. I want to use it for a little bit, you know, while longer and see how good it is or not good. And we'll do a full review of Facebook Home and a full review on HTC first. Uh, but it's a nice combination of hardware and software. For a $99 phone, I wasn't expecting, you know, blistering fast speeds. But this is a pretty quick uh, little device. I think HTC might have a winner on their hands that people are willing uh, to give this device a shot. Uh, the Facebook Home is kind of a cool UI. It works well enough. Um, and if you hold you know, down, you get all these different options. There's a lot of room for improvement. Uh, and I'm curious to see what Facebook does uh, over the coming months. So, hope you guys enjoy. What do you guys think of the HTC First and Facebook Home? I'd love to hear your comments. Uh, I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo. Give this video a thumbs up. We'd most definitely appreciate it. I will see you in the next video.